All right, progress. Uh, so I got my voltage controlled amplifier working. Um, I was just overdriving it. I just had too much uh, too much voltage going into it. So the different parts of the uh, design, uh, one has to go back and look and figure out what voltage mapping is required for all the different stages. And then when you do the system design, make sure that all of the uh, all of the voltages and offsets and stuff are correct for each stage. Not a trivial task. Um, so let's see here. What do I have? Um, let me turn on some power. And um, right now I have a control pin on the voltage controlled amplifier. And if I uh, put zero volts in, it's quiet. And if I turn up that voltage into the control pin, then the voltage controlled amplifier starts to amplify. The power amplifier is a fixed gain, um, but I can control the volume now by sending in a control voltage. Um, and I'm generating that control voltage with a uh, potentiometer that's dividing down a uh, plus 15 to zero volts. So it's, it's across plus 15 and zero. And so I can generate a voltage. It takes, it takes, uh, uh, only a couple volts to turn this thing on pretty hard. All right. So what else can I do now? Now that I can control this thing, let's control it. Uh, so let's see, which pin do I remove here? Um, uh, yeah, this is that. And I am going to move it to a low oscillator. Let's move it here. All right. So instead of that top of that potentiometer going to, to 15 volts, I'm going to control it with, um, with one of these oscillators. And you can hear it there. So... And I can change the speed of that oscillator. So there you go. So um, obviously the voltage range, the voltage range of the uh, oscillator, it's actually doing a plus and minus voltage. And I really only need plus voltages to run the voltage controlled amplifier. So, um, if I'm going to be using uh, LOs, I need to uh, offset them up and make sure they, they're referenced to ground. They go from zero and up. Uh, so there's another example of making sure that your system design, everything is compatible with one another. But it is doing what I think it's supposed to do. So it's modulating the volume with a triangle wave. I can modify the, the volume with a square wave here and it's it's very very quiet so let me turn this up Oop. wow yeah so once again the the levels aren't quite right in the system design but the, all the functionality is correct i don't know if you can hear that or not it's really quiet there you go so I'm controlling it with a square wave it did work better with the uh, with the triangle wave for the volume for the uh, the size of the waveform. Okay, turn that down. Can turn this up. Anyway, it's really fun. Uh, so almost all the sections are working now. Um, I can. Um, generate audible tones. I can generate sub-audible tones. I can generate noise. I can mix them with a three-channel mixer. I can then input that into a voltage control amplifier, and I can output it to the real world with a uh, audio amplifier. So the next thing I need to work on is the envelope generator. So the envelope generator will be, if I push a key, It'll fire the envelope generator and it'll ramp up and it'll hold. And then as I let off the key, then it'll ramp down. And that will actually be fed into the voltage controlled amplifier. So everything will be uh, making a tone right away. Um, and 
then when you hit a key, it'll enable it by uh, turning on the volume for the voltage control amplifier. So that's normally the way it's used. Let me demo one more time with without a triad, with just a single tone. Um, it's a little bit easier to hear what's going on. So you can hear the volume go up, down, up, down, up, down with a triangle wave. Yeah, fun.